So hi and welcome back to this video. So uh, in this video, hopefully it's the last part, and um, we'll actually see what uh, what we've been. We'll actually see the result of what we've been doing uh, for the last two videos. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be finishing off the uh, DNS server, hopefully. Um, so before, without any further ado, let's get started. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to um, open up the uh, names.conf.local file again. So named dot conf dot local and then what we want to do is you just want to copy this address copy it and then close the file with control x and then what we want to do is we just want to type in nano press or a right click even to paste it in then hit enter then what we want to do is we want to just type in uh, just copy as I do for the moment uh, in SOA um, and then this time put in server dot and then your, your extension and then a dot afterwards, the same as last time, then admin um, dot server dot, uh, whoops, you can see. And then uh, we just want to uh, uh, put the uh, parentheses, ar parentheses around it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to actually control X and then press yes and save it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the uh, local file. I mean, uh, whoops, not that file. Um, this file. And we're just going to copy this stuff from in here from earlier. So we're going to copy it, press Control X, go back to the, um, the reverse zones file. And we're just going to right click. And that should paste it in. Okay, so then what we want to do is we just want to leave this part blank, press tab, and then press IN space ns and then we put in server dot our extension then what we want to do is we want to type in uh, the name we give our droplet which in my case is hcdns so what I'm going to type in here is hcdns uh, spa space in space ptr and then space and then our extension again with no uh, full stop at the end and the reason I put this hcdns in is because it's uh, this is called a ptr record and the uh, DigitalOcean um, gives your droplets uh, gives your droplets PTR record, whatever you call your droplets. So in my case, it was HEDNS. Uh, and then what we want to type in is IN space um, PTR. And then the uh, the domain we gave it was test. So I just want to put in test uh, dot HC dot, and that should be it. So I'll click Control X. Uh, Press Y, hit enter, and that should be uh, us uh, sorted. The final thing we have to do is we need to edit a file called resolve.conf. So we need to uh, type in uh, nano slash etc slash uh, resolve.conf. And resolve has no V at the end of it, or I mean no E, just uh, R E S O L V dot C O N F. And this brings up this file here. Uh, this is. Um, the file that lets our droplet actually talk to the internet, as you'll see, the uh, .8, .8, .8, .8 is uh, Google's uh, public DNS. So what we need to do is we just sorry, what we need to do is we just need to type in search hc, which tells our uh, DNS server to search for our extension. Click Control X, hit Yes, and then hit Enter. The final thing we have to do is we need to uh, restart our um, our uh, bind server so to restart our bind server you just have to paste in this or being cop or write it in or whatever I just pasted it in because uh, it's hard to remember so I just had it sitting beside me and I just hit enter and as you can see if I screw push this back it says okay okay so everything went okay that's yeah, good uh, and then now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to connect to our um, server so I'm just going to type in new tab uh, this will bring this up or whatever. Then what we want to do is we want to type in um, test dot. Fra oh, whoops, not Francis. Uh, sorry, that was what I was doing earlier. Uh, test dot hc forward slash. Press enter and hopefully it takes us to high code. And here it is. Our DNS server is working. If I click on about us and things, as you can see, we're on the test dot hc uh, domain with our own custom extension. 
Um, well, that's that's actually it. And because uh, you could have actually, you didn't have to use dig DigitalOcean to uh, get your uh, server. You could have just, um, you know, had a, like a computer at your house and uh, made a local DNS server. But there was a good reason that we uh, set it up on DigitalOcean. It's because one, it means we don't have to have a spare computer lying around. Two, we don't have to have it turned on all the time. Digital, all DigitalOcean uh, servers have a really, really, really fast internet, so that uh, your your um your uh website will load really quick. They all have solid state uh disk drives, and also um it means it's connect. You can connect to it from anywhere in the world, because if it was a local DNS server, it would only be uh you could only reach it with our LAN, which means that computers sort of within sort of probably at your house, only computers there could use it. But since we used uh, DigitalOcean to put on the internet, uh, now anyone who has our DNS settings uh, put into their computer can connect to our uh, domain name or for our, to our custom domain extension. And it's really easy to add new extensions or and new websites and everything. Just copy the process we just did, add a new extension and to add a new website, it's even easier. Uh, just come in here, add a new website here. So for example, if I wanted to add uh, I don't know, francis.hc, I would just type in francis.hc in space a, and then I put in like a server or whatever, or I could do CNAME. There's, I, it's just using DNS, I could do whatever I wanted. And if you want more tutorials on DNS, uh, just let me know and I'll make some more. Um, but that's basically it for this video. Um, and also if you're gonna add a new um, extension, or if you're gonna add a new um, extension, or even a new uh, domain, you also have to add it uh, the reverse DNS, so you'd also have to put it into here. So you'd have to copy this and just change test to um, whatever you, your new domain was or whatever. Or you could make a separate zone file for it, but just for simplicity, we kept it in the same one. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to also let me know about what you think of these sort of videos. I was uh, thinking of making more videos like this, as well as the uh, ones like the how to make your own YouTube and JavaScript. And I'm also going to be starting the make your own or how to learn. Uh, Python videos again and the PHP ones and also even HTML ones as well and uh, maybe even Google Chrome extensions because that'd be pretty cool to learn how to make a Google Chrome extension. So uh, just let me know what you think in the comments down below and also thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.